Hey, what's up, fiber folks? Welcome back or welcome to High Fiber Knits. My name is Emily and today we're doing Underrated Knitting Patterns Cardigan Edition. So I've done two previous underrated knitting pattern videos, one for summer and one for the summer to fall transition. And I also did most recently a same but different video, which was like a comparison of a bunch of different really popular drop shoulder sweater patterns. And the feedback from both of those videos has been overwhelmingly positive and there's been a lot of requests to do them for raglans and for sleeveless tops and camisoles and for cardigans. So here we are. I feel like as a category of garments, cardigans are really, really broad ranging. Different lengths, different amounts of ease, different ways of shaping, different types of collars, different applications of lace and cables, like sash, no sash, buttons, no buttons. Like there's so many ways you can go with a cardigan. One of the reasons I'm really excited about you know, these cardigan patterns is that I have tried to include a lot of different shapes and styles of cardigans because I think one of the things we don't talk about as much when it comes to size and body inclusivity is how different types of shaping work for different types of bodies. So if you find something in here and you're like, I hadn't thought of that kind of shape before, I mean, like the current big trend is just really oversized and like boxy with very minimal shaping overall. Um, so if you see something that's different in this video that works for you, then you know, for me, it's like mission accomplished. Before we jump into it, I will share a little about what's on my head today. I am wearing a two by two ribbed hat in 100% superwash worsted weight wool from Malabrigo. It is their Rio space, a really plump, a really soft, a really just all around good yarn in some killer colorways. So I worked this up on 3.25 mil needles and I only used one skein for the whole hat. So that was, I made this last fall and it's just so, it's so good. I wear it all the time. It is like one of my most worn outerwear accessories. And so with that, I don't even know how long this intro is going to be, uh, but we are going to get started with the knitting patterns. The first cardigan pattern I want to share with you is the Butterfly Kimono Cardigan by Mingbi Luo. This cardigan pattern comes in three sizes and the finished circumference of the smallest size is a 39 inch bust and the largest size is a 51 inch bust. Now this cardigan is knit with a mane yarn and a mohair, but this is not a case where the yarns are held together. So the mane yarn is the Noro Ido. And if you know Noro, you know it's just completely and totally iconic, color-changing yarn. Incredibly striking, incredibly recognizable, and it's really given its moment to shine in these like massive, really widened garter stitch sleeves. I also really love how the mohair collar is so fluffy. It stands on its own and provides a really interesting contrast to or relief from the color changing of the Noro yarn. It really breaks it up. I think it does a nice job of, you know, letting the Noro shine on the sleeves, but also drawing attention towards sort of the center of the body coming to frame around the neck and the face. So I think this is just a really beautifully balanced cardigan. I think the width of that collar is really well matched to the shape of the sleeves, but still provides some delicateness to the overall look. So super cool, really different from anything I've ever seen. The Butterfly Kimono Cardigan. The next cardigan pattern is the Melody Cardigan by Anna Kurzizak, and this is a 100% mohair cardigan. 
So it's knit with two strands of mohair on pretty big needles, nine millimeters and five millimeters for a really cinched ribbing portion. And the sweater comes in five sizes. The extra small, whoops, actually doesn't look like explicit size measurements are given never mind but it comes in five sizes it comes from an extra small to an extra large and this is a free pattern available on Ravelry the sort of button band even though there aren't any buttons on it it looks like this button band is just picked up and knit in stockinette and then bound off which I think for something as light and airy as mohair would work really well or if you would prefer to just not have a band at all, a simple I-cord edging would probably look really clean for this sweater. For this Melody cardigan, I love the dramatic bell sleeves. I love how they look. I don't personally wear a lot of bell sleeves, but I think that for a fiber as lofty and soft and lightweight as silk mohair, the silhouette works really, really well. The next cardigan pattern I want to share with you is the Diams or the Diams by Faiza Mubaza. And this I've had my eye on for a really long time. It's got sleeves that are a little bit longer than elbow length. And the sleeve itself has a bit of an A-line shape. But the rest of the construction is also really interesting. It kind of looks a bit like an oversized jacket or, or robe. I really don't know how to describe it, but below the yoke area, it's not really a ruffle. It's not really a peplum, but you can tell that it's knit in two segments. And I just think it's a really interesting construction. It's a very contemporary looking construction as well, but it still maintains this really cool and like effortless overall look to it. It's just a little something different. This cardigan comes in nine sizes. The smallest finished bust circumference is 48 inches and the largest finished bust circumference is 79 and a half inches. And this is meant to be worn with quite a bit of space open at the front. It's knit in a sport weight yarn and the fiber that's been used in the sample is the Plucky Knitter Suave Sport which is 39% bamboo, 31% merino, and 30% silk. So having that bamboo and that silk content definitely gives, or probably certainly, I suspect it would give a lot of drape to the overall garment. But if you were looking for maybe a more budget-friendly yarn option, you might look at something like Barocco modern cotton, possibly sizing down because that yarn is a larger gauge than a sport weight, um, or maybe something like Kotlin or Lindy Chain from Knit Picks. Um, I think Lindy Chain is 100% linen, but Kotlin is cotton and linen. So those would be really cool options for more of a spring summer garment option. The next cardigan pattern is a long one, but this one is short sleeved and it's the Canyon by Yumiko Alexander. So this pattern comes in measurements from 38 and a half inches to 63 inches. And the designer describes this pattern as something that is very long, something that looks special, but is easy to wear with daily wardrobe. And so that's why she's used a lot of stockinette stitch, but blocked it out in a way with a bunch of lace motif that gives it a very contemporary feel still. I love the really architectural vibe that you get from the back of the canyon. I think it's just absolutely striking, really, really stunning, and probably a lot of fun to knit because you are breaking up a lot of stockinette with a really repetitive lace motif. Her sample's been knit up in dando silk 
Plus, which is 70% silk, 46% cotton, and it is a DK weight yarn. So again, I think you could probably sub in something like a merino silk blend, another cotton silk blend, a cotton linen blend, um, maybe not 100% linen because the lace probably won't work out too well in that case. Um, maybe even a merino linen could work, um, but definitely looking for something that's going to have a good amount of drape to help that lace open up as it hangs um, and again create a lot of movement because this pattern also has a split hem. Another reason I really like the lace motif in this particular design is that it is very clearly lace, um, but sometimes I feel that I don't like lace patterns that are too on the nose. Um, like I'm personally not a fan of, or I wouldn't be drawn to wearing um, something that looks explicitly like a, la uh, a lace, a leaf motif, for example, or something that looks very explicitly flowery. Um, I do like smaller but very repetitive looking lace motifs. Um, so I like the way it's been applied in this particular case. Next cardigan pattern I'd like to share with you is A Good Cigar by Lone Keldson. I've shared one of their patterns previously, also a cardigan with a really interesting ribbed detail. Um, so I wanted to show you a different one this time. This cardigan really gives me like your grandpa's sweater vibe. I love it. It looks like it's got a raglan construction and around the shoulders we've got like a pretty chunky ribbed section. It looks like it's at least two by two rib. It might be two by one rib or something like that. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, and then the rest of the body and the sleeves looks like it's knit in some kind of waffle stitch. So this just looks cuddly, cozy. It looks like very much what I'd want to wear on a Sunday at home, at a cottage. I just, I love the vibe of this cardigan. It's got a beautiful oversized look to it, a subtle cinch at the cuff of the wrists. And I really like how clean the neckline looks, despite the fact that it doesn't appear to have much finishing. I can't quite tell, it might be, I can't tell from the photo. It might be an eye cord edge. It might be some kind of like welt-like edge. I'm really not certain, but I love the way the neckline looks. It just looks simple. It looks clean. And I think, I think a good cigar is a very appropriate name for this sweater. It just, like I said, gives off that like old man vibe in the best way possible. So this sweater comes from a size small to a 3XL and its measurements, the smallest size is a 41.75 inch bust circumference and the largest size is a 55 inch bust circumference. The yarn that's been used in the samples are Holstgar and Titicaca, which I think is their like mohair and the BC Garn Bio Shetland Got Certified wool. But I really think that with this sweater, you could certainly go for any like sport or DK weight or any fingering plus mohair combo that you really love and feel is super cozy. Another Lone Keldson pattern and probably the most simple or conventional cardigan pattern in this video is the bonus jacket. This one looks like it's constructed as more of a drop shoulder and it's got all over ripping. It also comes in a small to a 3XL. However, I think that the finished circumferences are a bit wider for this one. So the smallest size finishes at a 44.5 inch and the largest size finishes at a 60.25 inch bust. One detail that I really like about this pattern is how the button band appears to be double knit, but really integrates 
seemingly seamlessly with the ribbing of the body of the sweater. I think it gives it a really polished overall look. If you're looking for something that's a bit more of an outerwear, jacket, shacket, car to shacket vibe, then you're looking for the Big Check by Hinterm Stern. It looks like the square or like the gingham detail is created by Twisted Rib and Stockinette. I love how it's incorporated into the collar and the pocket as well. And I think overall the lines on this sweater are really, really clean and really, really crisp. They remind me almost of like one of the jackets Mia Thermopolis might wear in The Princess Diaries. It just kind of has that like sophisticated lady vibe to it where it's like, oh, I just threw this on. It's so like, it's so coastal grandma. I'm like so on that train. I think that this is just a really, really interesting take on a cardigan. It looks sturdy. It looks like something I would want to reach for whenever I'm going outside and I just need a little something extra. The next sweater pattern is the Coastal Zip Up by Winter's Weather Knits. And this is the only pattern with a zipper in this video. It comes from sizes extra small to 5XL for finished measurements of 36 inches to 68 inches with 5 to 7 inches of positive ease in the bust circumference intended. I think that this is a really good alternative to the zipper jacket by Petite Knit. But what I really love about this pattern are the details at the cuffs and the hem and the collar. They're folded to be double thick. And so it looks like, again, this is just a really good option if you're looking to knit a piece of really cozy, really easy to throw on outerwear. The next sweater is the Cottage Cocoon Cardigan by Sorella Yarn. And when I saw this, the first thing I could think of was Cameron Diaz in The Holiday. Like this is the ultimate stay at home on a Sunday, cuddle up on the couch, drink some hot chocolate, some tea, some coffee, just sit with your knitting. Like cocoon cardigans just give that ultimate cozy vibe. I really love the lateral cabling detail on this sweater as well that also incorporates, it looks like some kind of welts or ribbing that breaks up these big sections of moss stitch. I think the cabling detail is really well matched to the overall size and proportion of the sweater and I love how the motif also travels down the sleeves toward the cuff. This sweater is knit in worsted weight yarn, which is certainly important for a project as huge as this looks um, and probably also just adds a lot to the cozy factor. It comes in three sizes that are scaled for um, or grouped to be extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, 2x, and then 3x, 4x, 5x. There isn't more specific details about sizing on Ravelry. Uh, however, on the Sorelli Yarn website, it says that size one is, I think, for a 44 inch bust, um, and the third size is up to a 55 inch bust, um, presumably for finished measurements. The next sweater is the Continuous by Kelly White Designs. This is another cocoon cardigan, but on a bit more of a low key scale than the last sweater pattern. This one comes from an extra small to a three X and it's meant to have about 14 inches of positive ease. And the finished measurements are, that's centimeters, four, sorry, 43 and a half inches to 69 inches. Um, I could imagine that because this is not meant to have buttons or anything like that, um, that there might be a little more flexibility when it comes to overall fit. But I really liked how this sweater took a very simple and still contemporary approach to the cocoon cardigan. I feel like cocoon cardigans 
were really popular maybe 10-ish years ago. I remember when I was like growing up dancing, there was that one from Aritzia with like the studs down the back that it felt like everybody had. Um, but I haven't seen cocoon cardigans too much anymore. I think that the way this one is knit um, to sort of look like it has these concentric circles gives it a really contemporary vibe, but the sort of scalloped lace button band also gives it a really lovely sort of feminine and, and thoughtful detail. It's also my year of purple, so this one also caught my eye. I love the purple color that she's used. It's very much like an aubergine color. And the last detail that I really like about this continuous sweater is like the really cinched and very long ribbed cuffs that sort of balance out the overall cocoonness of the rest of the sweater. But last but not least is the Ivy Cardigan by Adrienne Larson. This one is knit up in DK yarn and the sizes that are available are 35.75 inches at the finished bust to 65.75 centimeters at, or sorry inches at the finished bust with about four to five inches of ease that's recommended. What I really like about this cardigan, despite it being something that I probably would never actually knit, um, is the really interesting cabling motif. It looks like the cables themselves are quite repetitive and therefore probably really easy to memorize and go off pattern for, but you'll notice that around the waist, the lace, or sorry, the cable motif actually shifts in a way that I think can really serve to sort of accentuate the narrowest part of the waist, which can be a very flattering look for folks who don't prefer having things with a lot of positive ease. I think this can be very, very figure flattering if it's something that, that you would like. This sweater also looks like it has bracelet length or like three quarter length sleeves, which I think is just a very practical sleeve length. I've gotten into the habit of wearing a watch and I love having a watch on. I think it's actually very handy as a lab tech um, and as a teacher. I don't want to have to like be wearing gloves and have to touch my phone or to have to have my phone to be able to see the time um, during some kind of activity, if I can just like flick my wrist and see my watch, that's great. But a lot of the times I do need to move sleeves out of the way. So I think that a bracelet length or a three quarter length sleeve is very practical. Um, I just really think this is a unique approach to a really classic type of cabled cardigan. So folks, those are all the patterns I wanted to share with you. I think this was probably the largest collection of patterns that I've ever shared with you in a video like this. I don't even think my knitting plans videos have been as extensive as this one. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something different in this video, something inspiring in this video. This one was a lot of fun for me to put together. Um, and as I've said in, in a whole bunch of other videos, it's a lot of fun to just like appreciate and share patterns, even if they're things that I know I personally would not knit or wear. Um, being able to find, you know, those, those details um, can go a long way in helping us actually make more mindful selections for what we maybe do want to knit. So that's it for now, folks. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until I get to see you again, I am wishing you wellness and happy knitting. Bye, everyone.